into welding industries of Australia. We're going to show you how to set up the Worldmatic 200 Plus and 250 for MIG welding steel, stainless steel and aluminium. Whether you're welding with gas or gasless wire, we've got you covered. Whether you're welding steel, stainless steel or aluminium, make sure you select the right wire and drive roll type and size for your application. Both the wire diameter size and drive roll groove size should match. The Weldmatic 200 Plus and 250 drive rolls have two groove sizes. The size is labelled on the opposite side of the relevant groove size. If you have both the Weldmatic 200 Plus and 250, it's worth noting they each take different drive rolls because the drive roll sizes are physically different. Your metal type will determine your groove type. A V-groove drive roller should be used when welding steel, a U-groove when welding aluminium, and a knurled V-groove if using a gasless wire. To install your wire, unscrew the spool retaining nut, however don't undo the wire yet. Mount your spool onto the spool holder with the wire facing downwards. Next, insert the drive roll. Release the drive tensioner and lift up the drive roll pressure arm. Unscrew the retaining cap and insert the drive roll onto the drive roll shaft with the required groove facing inwards. Reattach the retaining cap. Release the wire from the spool, but don't let go of it. Cut any kinks off the wire and feed it into the inlet guide, over the drive roll, then into the outlet guide. Keep feeding the wire into the outlet guide until it's visible from the front of the Euro connector. Re-engage the pressure roller and adjust the drive roll tensioner for a reasonable amount of tension. Align the Euro adapter pin over the wire, push it in and tighten the torch connector nut onto the Euro connector. Plug the machine into the power socket and turn the rear switch on. On the LCD interface, press the process button. Rotate the select knob to your desired process. In this case, MIG seal, then press the same knob to select. Because we have selected MIG steel, we need to select our gas. Rotate the select knob to your required gas type. Argon CO2 should be used for all metal thicknesses. Another option is argon CO2 and oxygen. If you are using gasless wire, you have the option to select flux cord gasless. If you are using gas shielded flux cord wire, you have the option to select that. Press to select your gas type. For other MIG processors, there is only one gas type. No gas selection is required. Now connect the polarity cable to the terminal shown on the screen. Simply push it in and twist. Wait for the next screen or press select once you have connected the cables. To select your wire size, use the select knob and rotate through the numbers on the screen. Press the same knob to select. Move on and select your material thickness the same way. Your chosen settings can be viewed on the next screen. Wire speed, voltage and arc parameters will be preset to suit the selections made. However, if needed, these can be manually adjusted once you start welding. To feed the wire through the MIG gun, first twist and remove the nozzle. Using a pair of pliers, twist and remove the tip. To feed the wire through, press and hold the wire feed button on the front panel display until the wire is visible at the end of the torch. Release the button and reassemble the tip and nozzle. Next, check the tension by pressing the MIG gun trigger. If the wire does not continue to feed, more tension is required. If using gas, connect the gas hose to the gas inlet at the back of the machine. Tighten it using a hose clamp. Insert the regulator tail into the other end of the gas hose and tighten using a hose clamp. Now connect the regulator to the gas bottle and tighten with a spanner. Next, attach the other end of the gas hose to the regulator and tighten it with a spanner. When finished, turn the gas bottle on and purge the gas. Connect your work clamp to the machine terminal and then connect your work clamp to the weld piece. Before you start welding, make sure you put on the appropriate safety gear. Clean and prep your metal. This part is important. To get a clean weld, we need a clean surface. We're going to use a wire brush to remove any rust and dust from the weld piece. You can also use a grinder to do this. Missing this step will result in a less than average looking weld. For more information on the Weldmatic 200 Plus and 250 and to learn about safe practices when welding, refer to the safety manual.